or about six years ago, is my dad who started roasting in uh, our garage, and I kind of jumped along, learning how to roast with them, and then we were selling it to family and friends, and then we decided to, you know, take it to the next level with the brick and mortar shop, and um, just been having a blast here, and just seen so much growth and so much love for it that we've decided to open up more locations to be able to bring coffee to everyone everywhere. So, like one of my favorite things about Mundos is the focus on people. You know, we we try really hard to create, you know, a good environment for our employees. We're definitely passionate about is creating a space where like people feel welcomed to and loved and like if they don't know everything about the coffee world, like that's okay. Like we'll teach them or show them or help them find something that they're going to enjoy no matter what it is. We make our own chai tea concentrate in-house, you know, so it's primarily black tea with a variety of spices and whatnot. We have three different coffees available for our slow bar that we switch every single week. Um, we can brew those either as like pour over, AeroPress, or siphon. We have some other, some local stuff, we have, you know, drought juices and some local kombuchas that we sell as well. Um, my favorite beverage is, I would say, um, an AeroPress. It's, it's like similar to a French press, except for it's pressed through a paper filter instead. It's like kind of like a smaller brew, a little more concentrated and just than a regular coffee. Brings out the flavor notes a little bit more. You know, I like to just go for just a regular cappuccino. For me, it's the right like ratio of espresso to steamed milk. It's two ounces of espresso, four ounces of steamed milk. It's a real small drink, a nice balance. You can actually still taste what makes that espresso unique. We make all our syrups in house, and one of my favorites is a miel. It's honey and cinnamon, and then it would either be shaken with cold milk or steamed with some hot milk. So you won't see it on the menu, but you can get it hot or iced, and it's really good any season of the year. So if someone likes a black coffee, I would definitely recommend trying a pour over. Uh, pour over is the closest to just like a regular coffee, but we just brew like a single cup for you. Um, and AeroPress is a little more niche, but it's super delicious. If someone likes something a little sweeter, I might recommend like a vanilla latte or like a caramel latte, one of our house-made syrups. One thing that I do, it's not that adventurous, it's pretty much the same thing as a cappuccino, but it's, uh, it's called a one-in-one. -one. We pull double shots, but instead of putting both shots into the espresso, you split it. So you get one shot on the side and then the other shot goes into the cappuccino. The idea behind it is you, you, know, you throw back the single shot of espresso and it kind of like preps your palate for that shot. And then you taste the espresso, or you taste the cappuccino after doing the espresso. So your palate's kind of already seasoned for that shot specifically. And it makes the cappuccino a bit more like vibrant, like you're able to taste things in the espresso that you wouldn't, or you're able to taste things in the cappuccino that you wouldn't normally taste because you were able to do the espresso shot right before. Um, we're going um, just like a quarter mile down the road from here um, to a bigger uh, headquarters location, bigger roastery, more production space, also larger cafe space, more room for people to hang out, um, a lot more like lounging areas, kind of some nice couches and stuff, people to hang out. And my favorite part about the new location is um, our coffee lab that we're gonna have. We're gonna be able to cup coffees and potentially down the road, like host, host some coffee classes. We'll have an espresso machine back there, be able to teach people about how to how to enjoy coffee, how to taste coffee, um, latte, all that kind of stuff. So. We've got a whole breakfast and lunch menu that we serve all day with really good like breakfast burritos, pockets. One of my favorites is our avocado toast. We make everything in house. All of our croissants from Nine Bean Rose, uh, super delicious. I love, personally, my favorite is the cinnamon roll. My uh, brother-in-law bakes all the cookies. I mean, just this morning for like, the first half of the day, all morning, every single table was taken up by people. And personally, I love seeing that, like being behind the bar, seeing an entire cafe full of people. Like, it just, it feels good to know that like we're creating a space where people feel comfortable going to for whatever the reason. You know, want to make sure that we're loving people well and, you know, greeting people with a smile and making people feel warm and welcome when they come in. And, you know, so it, 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 starts, it starts with us. It's just amazing to see the support from the community um, about these new locations and just the feedback we've been hearing and just, you know, it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome.